This person's about to approach you, okay? I don't, honestly, I don't think they can hold back much longer. Um, I kind of get the sense that they were trying to, you know, hold themselves back from making some kind of decision for a very long time, and they just can't do it anymore. The, the longer they're away from you, it feels like the more emotional they get. This is somebody who knows they need to do the right thing. I kind of get the sense I'm feeling fear off this person. Like, they're kind of fidgety, okay? They're nervous. They're afraid. They're guarding themselves with this pentacle. So I know that they're afraid to approach you, but they're going to take that pentacle and give it to you. Um, this is making an offer. This is wanting to communicate. Um, this is an apology. They could even bring you some kind of gift, okay? I just feel like they've held back long enough, like too long, and now this person is becoming very emotional over this. Yeah, they want this new beginning collective. <laughs> Here they come to apologize, okay? Um, and this is someone from your past. Now, I, seriously, they can't stop thinking about you. This is being very nostalgic. Thinking back on how you made them feel, the kind of love you gave them, okay? And they want that back now. So um, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, this person is about to make their approach. They're about to apologize. They want this new beginning. And you know what? Here's the thing. Who wouldn't want you? Look at this. Who wouldn't want you? You're literally everything in this picture. Okay? You're everything. You're very loving. Okay, let's talk about your heart, right? You're loving. You're trustworthy. Um, you're dependable, reliable, committed, loyal. All right? You're very spiritual. Um, you have some major psychic abilities, okay? Um, you're very faithful, all right? And you just gave this person the best love they're ever going to have. Nobody has the kind of love like the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, you're also very driven. You're motivated. Um, you've created something that's turned into a huge success or a lot of abundance here. You've gone through a major transformation and you're beautiful. Um, one of the most beautiful people in the deck here is this Nine of Pentacles energy. That's the Empress in the Minor Arcana. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could be a Virgo. Maybe a Taurus Aries. I feel like you've got all these opportunities and options, doors of opportunities just fly and open for you. Abundance um, all around you. I feel like whatever you've grown into a success, it's built to last. You put a lot of time and effort into that, okay? And I feel like it's, it's going to keep paying off in the future, all right? You could be in the public eye. You could have your own platform. Uh, public speaking, doing anything, okay? I keep picking up on, like, a physical fitness instructor, so maybe, like, you could have, um, you could have your own YouTube channel where you do workout videos. I mean, it could be something really simple. It, it's, um, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be anything specific. Whatever it is that you do, possibly in the public eye, okay? On the internet, maybe, this could lead to some travel in the future as well. So you could be doing some traveling lately, um, starting to see the world, starting to see a world of, of opportunities coming your way. Okay, this is you also closing out a cycle. You've graduated. You've put in the effort. You've learned, um, you've learned so much about yourself, enough to um, put yourself through a transformation, okay? You're spiritually led. You're talking to this little bird on your hand. That's the divine. I feel like you're closing out a cycle. This person can feel it. And they see this as their only chance. I, I'm just getting this um, only chance to come back around before you leave them behind. Or maybe you're moving away. I feel like this person wants to work on this. Okay? I feel like they want to work on this, but they may be feeling very out in the cold because this person has betrayed you, backstabbed you, broke your heart, sacrificed you possibly in a third party. 
maybe gave you a bunch of lies. I feel like this person pretty much did everything to hurt this connection. Um, yeah, I'm seeing five pentacles here. So I, I know this person feels absolutely out in the cold. They know they're on shaky ground, though, with you. So they don't even know if you're going to listen to them or not. They don't know what to expect because they're afraid to approach you. Um, your energy actually may intimidate them, okay? They just see you upgrading in your life, leveling up, transforming, like you've changed your whole life here. Um, and, you know, I feel like you're already kind of in this Ten of Pentacles energy. Whatever you've built, it's solid. It's built to last. The only thing you don't have right now is a soulmate at your side, a commitment, okay? But I feel like that Ten Pentacles is already yours. This is building generational wealth in the future. I told you, it's going to keep paying off, right? This, um, this person from your past, they could work with their hands. They could um, have like um, a difficult or dirty job, you know. They could have some really calloused hands. Um, they could be a construction worker. They could work with metal. They could work with uh, building materials. I don't know. But yeah, they, um, they want this new beginning. Clarify this Ace of Wands. Yeah, and this person's now they're feeling like a fool. You know, I'm picking up that somebody may have an STD as well. Okay, they could have an STD. Maybe this person feels very inadequate next to you. You see what I'm saying? Because especially if they could be broke. They could be very low on their finances in a financial struggle. They could have recently found out they've got an STD. They've done some impulsive things, and maybe this person is full-on regretting um, coming in and using you. I feel like they, they may have left you feeling very used. They're feeling like a fool here for losing you, that's for sure. And it's to the point where emotionally... They can't take it anymore. They can't hold back anymore. The, the further away you get, the, um, the more this person suffers, okay? Because they, they don't want to let you go. I kind of am getting the sense that maybe this person used you in the past. They could have played you in the past, and now they're an emotional wreck, okay? Um, this could very well be a twin flame. Okay, this is, this is a connection they just can't shake, you know, especially if this is a twin flame. They can't handle it. They can't handle being apart from you anymore. It's getting to the point where um, they feel like they have to come in fairly quickly. But yet this person is so nervous about showing up. And they may, like I said, they may have an STD. For someone here, not all of, not everyone person has an STD, but this one me. Okay, yeah, see, there's that Ten Pentacles. They know with you, they could be in this Ten of Pentacles energy. They know with you, this soulmate connection would last had they only treated you the right way. You know, they didn't give you respect, consideration. I mean, they, they crushed you. They stuck a sword in your back just for loving them. They're realizing what they put you through you didn't deserve at all. You were innocent. Okay, this person's having a hard time living with their conscience. They could be having um, nightmares at night, a lot of sleepless nights. Okay, they could be having some um, dreams about you where they wake up. They could even be calling out your name. Okay, when they wake up from a dream. You may, be, you may be seeing this person in your dreams collective, okay? They, um, because their power, their energy is so powerful right now when it comes to wanting you that they may even be infiltrating your dreams a little bit. Like, you could be having dreams about them as well, 
okay? Or maybe you're waking up in the middle of the night. It could be at a specific time every night. It could be something like 333, 333. I'm seeing a lot of threes. I feel like all they want is you. You're the one that they're wishing for. See, they just can't get you off of their mind. You're the one they're dreaming about. You're the one they're wishing for. They get up in the middle of the night. Okay, so this is somebody who gets up in the middle of the night. I feel like they wake up at the same time every night. You could be waking up at the, that same time every night. Okay, so pay attention to that. All right, that's for someone. Um... They wake up, they're calling out your name, they probably wake up in like a puddle of sweat. You know what I mean? After having these nightmares. They could even be getting shown in their dreams that this is a twin flame connection. This person could possibly be getting shown in their dreams like little clips of past lives with you. Okay, they're realizing this connection, they're realizing they can't. They can't get away from it. So, so they turn on their computer in the middle of the night and watch what you're doing. Okay, so I know you have some kind of public platform. This can just be you posting on social media. All right? But I feel like you may work. This could, this could possibly be something you do for work online, your own podium platform. They're watching everything that you're doing. And I feel like it only makes it worse for them. You know, this person's losing sleep at night because once they are done watching you, then they're daydreaming about you. Um, wondering what it would be like to be married to you at your side, building whatever this is that you're building, okay? I mean, they're watching you until the sun comes up, see? They're up in the middle of the night, calling out your name, and then watching you. They get on the computer right away and watch you all night or the rest of the night until sun comes up. Yes, then that's the truth. Yep. I feel like they're trying to get information on you or there's something about your energy that, can I just tell you, there's something about your energy that comforts them. It soothes them, okay? Watching you, um, watching what you're doing, listening to the sound of your voice, you know? I, I feel like this person... They listen to you more than they watch you. You see, um, they're missing that sound of your voice. There's something very calming about whatever it is that you're doing. You could be a spiritualist. You could be a spiritual healer, an empath. It's the only time this person feels close to you anymore is when they're watching you or listening to you, okay? They want to get back together. They're, they've watched you transform your life to whatever you've done. You've, you've accomplished something huge, okay? Yeah, they, 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 they're missing you, collective. That's what this is. They're missing you. This person could be crying at night. They could wake up from those nightmares, crying, calling out your name, trying to make a plan of how to come back around, knowing that they're unable to talk to you. They're, it's like... It's like when they're watching you do whatever it is that you're doing online. Um, they're listening to you talk. Yeah, this person just wants to talk. They want to hear your voice. They miss hearing your voice. And there's something about you that calms them. It's very calming. Okay? Because every other time, you know, at any other time during the day, that distance between you is like wrecking this person, you know, they can't shake this connection, They're, they could be learning about this twin flame soulmate connection, they could be watching um, other spiritualists out here on YouTube in the middle of the night, okay, it's, I, I think it's not just you that they're watching, they're like researching what you're saying, or researching possibly this twin flame connection. They're learning here about this connection and they're learning who you are and the things that you can do and the knowledge that you have, okay? This takes most of their time at night.
So, yeah, you're teaching this person some things. You've got some hidden spiritual knowledge. You're definitely a healer. You make this person feel very comforted. Just the sound of your voice. I think that's what they want. They just want to hear the sound of your voice. Okay, then they take those messages and your knowledge and they research it. And they're learning. Okay. Yeah, this person may e they may be thinking about starting their own project like you did. They're gaining in knowledge, okay? They could be learning from you, you know? I feel like this person wants to, they just want to come together with you. There could be someone else in their life that wants to see you fall, okay? I feel like you've built up this pedestal. Okay, you've built up um, this pedestal and something really solid and somebody that they're with that may be um, competing with you, she wants to see you knocked back down to a seven of pentacles energy when you've made it to the nine of pentacles energy. Okay, or this could be somebody that, um, sorry about that collective. Or this can be somebody who um, is competing with you and trying, like, this can be competition. Trying to get a project off the ground, maybe even trying to copy what you've done in the past. Um, but I feel like it's unable to get off the ground. Like, you, they're putting in work, but, but you're the one who's still abundant. Um, so there could be some competition over what you're doing, like people are seeing you excel, okay? And now they kind of, it feels like they're scrambling to start the same kind of project you did. It's like they, um, somebody here, whether it's this masculine or, I feel like if this masculine is trying to start a project though, they're doing it honestly, okay? Does that make sense? I feel like they're doing it honestly, but there could be someone um, that they chose over you or somebody who's jealous of you, who's trying to um, start the same kind of project, but dishonestly. They're like copying what you say and they can't get it off of the ground. Okay? It's not going anywhere. They're putting in that effort, but it's not going anywhere. All right? Yeah, see, and you're the one with the spiritual gifts here. This Ace of Cups it's your spiritual abilities that are in this cup, not just love. There's love, your faith, everything that you've learned, all your spiritual knowledge, your psychic abilities, your intuition, your discernment, okay, your faith, all right? That's what's in this cup. So you're the one in wish fulfillment. You're the one with the Ten of Cups. You're the one with the Ten of Pentacles. You've got Ten Pentacles here and Ten Cups because you're the real deal. You're the real deal, Collective, okay? People are now seeing how much you've accomplished, and they want a part of that. So they're going to try to, like, copy you or create the same kind of project you did, but it's not, it's not going to pay off the way yours did, okay? Yeah, judgment. Look, Spirit is watching everything, okay? They know. They know who's real. They know who the real deal is and who the fake one is. Judgment is going to be on whoever is trying to copy you or, or create something off of your energy, okay? That's what they're trying to do is create the same thing that you created off of your energy, and they're thinking they can succeed with that, and they're not. Spirit knows. Oh, yeah, the divine is coming out here. And yeah, they're going to be put down. I feel like... Um, I feel like that, that business, whatever they're growing, is going to go downhill, okay? It's all about integrity. It's all about honesty. It's all about doing things for the right reasons, okay? These people want to do what you're doing because they want your kind of abundance. They want to live your kind of life. They, want, they see your future and where you're going, um, and they want that too. 
okay? Now, they know they can't bring you down. I feel like whoever's been competing with you has been trying to do that, and it's not working. They see that you're building something really strong and lucrative here, and they want to do the same thing, but they're not doing it for the right reasons. Okay, number one, they're not authentic. They're taking what your knowledge is, and they're using it for themselves, okay? Number two, I feel like you're out here delivering messages, right? Coming out in um, light worker energy as a true empath and a guide for other people, a guide and inspiration. I feel like that's why you're doing what you're doing. And because you're doing it with good intentions, that's why it's so abundant, Okay, that's why it's so successful. These people aren't doing it with the same intentions you have. You see what I'm saying? They're not. They want, they want the same kind of abundance you have, but they don't have the same kind of intentions behind their work. And spirit knows them. They're, spirit knows. They're making a judgment call here. And I feel like those businesses, like you're going to start seeing businesses or um, I don't know, whatever these people are trying to build, right? You're going to start seeing it go downhill, I feel. Okay, you're going to start seeing those people kind of dropping because their intentions aren't good, okay? And spirit is protecting, sorry, that was my bad. <laughs> I'm a really sloppy shuffler because I have like man hands, okay? Yeah, see, spirit is going to bring them down. Tower moment. What's this one? Very quickly. Yeah. Very quickly. Yeah, that's very quick. Because they were, especially if they were trying to guide other people or putting messages out there to guide other people, but they were being fake about it, they're, they're guiding them in the wrong direction. They're building illusions for people, not helping people. Do you see what I'm saying? They've got poor intentions. So they like kind of spew out and repeat the same knowledge that you have, um, but they don't, they don't know what they're talking about really, and it's misguiding others. This is putting up illusions. Um, yeah, or they're just being fake. So people are going to start realizing that. Or um, they're gonna, they could very well expose themselves, right? They could end up getting a lot of hate for saying the wrong thing. I don't know. But spirit is going to bring them down quickly. Anybody who's got bad intentions for others, they're going to be brought down. Okay? I feel like I feel like it's a feminine energy who's trying to copy you. I have to kind of, I got to say about this masculine I don't think they have bad intentions right now. I feel like I feel like you've inspired. See, you'll inspire some people. There's a difference between inspiring someone to start a, a, a project and see how, how far they can take it, right? There's a big difference between inspiring someone and someone else just being jealous and wanting to copy you. There's a big difference. Okay, so there's a feminine energy, I feel, who's jealous that's trying to copy what you're doing for the wrong reasons, mind you. Okay, and there's a masculine energy, though, who has learned from you. They have learned from you. And, um, and you've just inspired them to create their own project. Okay, this, is, this masculine here... I got to say, I, I, I'm not feeling any bad intentions off of them at all. Someone else, though, yeah. So there's people out there that are trying to do what you do. Um, and there's a masculine here who's trying to just start their own project. You've, you've sparked an interest. You've, you've inspired them to dig deeper um, and find out more information and uh, and it's it sparked something in them, you know, and that's that's I'm see I'm getting the chills and that's what we want. That's what we want. We want you're supposed to be inspiring and guiding other people. <laughs> you're supposed to be teaching them the, the lessons that you've learned and the knowledge that you have. 
Okay, you did you did your job when it comes to this masculine, okay? You fulfilled your mission. But the ones who are just trying to copy you for their own benefit, they're going to go down, okay? The ones who are fakey fake and pretending to be someone else or, I don't know, pretending to be a star, those people are going down. I feel like this is your person's energy, okay? And I'm I'm feeling like a regret off of this person. I'm feeling like they're exhausted. They've been beat down by this journey, okay? And everything that they've had to learn. They've done a lot of bad things behind behind the scenes. I'm I'm not I'm not necessarily condoning them or standing up for them, but I feel like this person, they're ready to drop any kind of toxic lifestyle. I feel like they're going to drop these burdens, okay? And they're going to take action into a new way of life, a way of life that you inspired them into. Do you see what I'm saying? Just by watching you for all hours of the night, right, until the sunrise, they've been learning about what the messages you've been putting out there. Man, I'm telling you, I, I feel like you're a light worker, okay, all the way, okay, all the way, because that really describes what your mission is, to inspire others, raise vibrations, help other people see a new path, help them go to God, okay, and I'm really getting that feeling off of your person here, so yeah, just know, um, you have taught this person so much, you have opened their mind and their heart to a whole new way, a realm that they didn't even realize existed, okay? That's what you did. You did that. You did that, collective. Right? Clap for yourself, okay? And the people that are fake or whoever's trying to copy you, spirit is handling those people, okay? All right, you don't have to do anything, but be you and shine that light. Co-creating, yeah, because you are the real deal. Divine is with you co-creating, okay? Especially with the number, uh, number four here, that's an 11, 11, 11, 11. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're moving you forward to calmer waters. You know why? The kicker is when I said you completed your mission. You completed your mission with this person. You've opened their eyes. You've sent them on a journey, a surreal journey, okay, into the unknown, into the, into the mystic. Yeah, that's the song I'm getting. Yeah, you sent this person into the mystic, okay, and it's changed them. And I feel like that is, that's part of the mission um, for a light worker. okay? So now spirit is moving you. Um, they're moving you along on your, on your mission work, okay? Feel like new things are about to open up for you. You're entering into a new phase in your life because you are closing out a cycle and starting a new one, right? I feel like spirit is pointing you in a new direction, okay? Forward. That's the feeling I'm getting. Yeah, you are gifted. You're about to get some heightened abilities because they're moving you into a new mission, okay? You're about to get some heightened abilities now. The mission's going to get more intense, okay? The closer, the further we get into this spiritual battle, um the more intense the light workers missions get cuz you're you're like facing the the front ground right um of this spiritual battle you're on the 5 or uh, sorry you're on the 3D sent from heaven um to be on the 3D to inspire other people around you Okay, and spirits moving you forward into a new mission. I feel like um, you may even get some kind of confirmation of this. You may be even shown 
um, what this next mission, this next phase of your life is going to look like. I feel like it's going to be easier to move, but I feel like um, it's going to get more challenging as far as spiritual attacks. Um, it's going to get more challenging as far as people fighting against the divine, okay? Um, because, see, that negative energy out there is getting really ticked off because God is winning. The good is winning. Okay, so this negativity, evil entities, maybe spell work, I feel like it's going to, um, it's just going to be escalated a little bit in this new mission that you, this new cycle because the closer the closer we get to this spiritual battle being won by the divine negative entities and energies are fighting against that or trying to trip the light workers up so yeah spirit is equipping you right equipping you with some new heightened abilities and senses so pay a close, a close attention to that, too, as well, okay? But, yeah. Just listen to your intuition. Surrender to the divine. Let the divine lead you, okay? Let them lead you, yeah. And just know, this next mission, this next part of your cycle, I feel like it, you know, you're, how do I say this? I feel like spirit is going to lead you to a new soul tribe. However, I do have to say the life of a light worker is a lonely one. It is a lonely one because not a lot of people can handle your intensity. Not a lot of people know what to do with your light and your energy. Okay. And in this next cycle, um, you, you may feel alone, it, it, it may be in the beginning of it, okay? Um, you've had to leave a lot of people behind because they're just not, they're not at your level. They're not at your vibe. Light workers, I'm telling you, most light workers, we feel really alone no matter how many people were around. We feel alone our whole entire lives. But, but. We know that spirit is always around us. So that gets us through. We're really not. We're isolated, but we're really not alone. Okay, does that make sense? We may, we may feel orphaned by other people that didn't understand us and mistreated us, but we're really never alone. Spirit is right there with you all the time. Okay? So, yeah, um... I feel like your new mission is starting. I feel like you have, man, you, you don't, you're not even aware of it. You don't know this, but you really changed this person's life. Okay. You've opened their mind up, um, to all of this stuff. Okay. And that is creating a huge change and they're going to go on to teach other people and create that change. It's, it's creating that wave of change, okay? And you did that. You did that, collective. So be proud of yourself, okay? 